got God. I've got God. I've got God. We should be happier. We're gonna play something. Read something. You should be happier. Hi, just Yada here. Thank you for giving me your trust and some of your time. This video is about the new VMware Workstation 17 Pro. VMware released it in November 2022. This video will walk you through how to download and install this latest version. This version comes with better accelerated graphics. It comes with a dark mode and there's Windows 11 as option for guest operating system. Before this version, you couldn't see Windows 11 as guest operating system. All you have is from Windows 10 64 bit to Windows 7. But this edition has added Windows 11. You need internet and a browser to do this download and installation. Let's take a look. So we go. The official site is vmware.com and you should see download now. Click that. See that. VMware Workstation 17 Pro. We can download and install it and use it for 30 days free but after that 30 days we will have to buy the license and you can install workstation 17 pro on a windows computer or a linux computer let's look at how much it is first VMware Workstation 17 player, if you are buying it for the first time, is approximately $150. But if you have an older version and you want to upgrade to this 17 player, you pay as approximately $80. I mean. Then for VMware Workstation 17 Pro, the new one is approximately $200 and if you want to upgrade, you pay approximately $100. I advise that you should buy the VMware Workstation 17 Pro because it comes with the player. After we download and install it, you will see that it comes with the VMware Workstation 17 player. So when you want to buy, buy the Pro. So let's go back. I'm using Windows computer to do this demonstration, so I will have to download this one. While that is going on, before you can smoothly run a virtual machine on your Windows computer, make sure you have sufficient RAM.
see my RAM is 24 gigabytes so that's enough for the virtual machine to run on VMware and make sure you have enough storage space this computer is one SSD one terabyte of SSD see that's important The download is finished. Let's open the downloads folder. Don't just start installing it. Click and right click it and click properties. Click properties. This will show, click digi digital signatures, click this first bottom option, and click details. Let's install the certificate first. See, here it shows you the signing time so we click view certificate and here we click install we install it on local machine it will ask for admin permission we click next and we say yes we leave it on automatic and click next and click finish see it says the certificate was successfully imported we click install again. We now leave it on current user. Click next. Click next. Click finish. That's that. We close this. We view certificate again. No, we close this again. Then we click this up option. We click details. Click view certificate, click install certificate, we choose local machine first, click next, it will ask for admin approval, we click yes, we leave it on automatic and we click next, click finish, the certificate is imported, click install certificate again, we now install it on current user, click next, click next click finish we can close all this now then we right click and now run it as administrator we say yes see that workstation 17 pro you can see the videos on this channel i made on how to install mac os catalina mac os big saw mac os monterey on vmware workstation on windows computer there's another video that shows you how to install Windows 11 on VMware Workstation. There's another one on how to update Mac OS, Catalina, Big Saw, Monterey on Workstation. You can use that method to also install V to also install Mac OS Ventura on VMware Workstation Pro 17. I will do that video subsequently to show you how to install Mac OS 13 on VMware Workstation 17 Pro on a Windows computer.
this will show we click next i will select i want enhanced keyboard driver but this will require you to restart the computer after the installation then i'll leave this checked and click next is helpful for you to install the certificates as we did earlier i recommend if you want you can install the certificate if you don't want you can just go ahead and and do the straight installation is blinking like this because it's installing the drivers and the services the VMware workstation needs. You need the network drivers for internet to work on the VMware workstation. see and we click finish now i'm using camtasia to do the recording this because of the enhanced keyboard driver is asking me to restart the computer of which i'll say no later i can do that let's now run the vmware workstation see that so we click to open it. Here it will ask for license. If you bought it, enter the license. But for this demo, we just say, I will try VMware Workstation 17 for 30. This is what will show when you open VMware Workstation Pro 17. When you click this, click Preferences and click Display, you should see Color Team. Under that, you should see Light and Dark Mode. And we click okay see the dark mode let's try to create a virtual machine to see this window you need to click tabs and click go home and it will show this 
So let's attempt to create. If we leave it on recommended, click next. We click this, I'll install the operating system later, click next. See, for guest operating system for Microsoft Windows, this is what we used to have. Windows 10 x64. But now, you can see Windows 11 is there. If you have any other version of VMware Workstation Pro, you will not see Windows 11 S64. If you want to install Microsoft Windows, you can see from Windows 11 down to other versions. But you see here, guest operating system we have microsoft windows we have linux we have vmware esx and other we don't have mac this is the unlocker we need to use so we click and right click and click run as administrator unlock and we run as administrator. We say yes. See that. It's unlocking it so that we see Apple Mac OS as guest operating system. For it to finish, we, it says, please press it says press enter key to continue so we press enter does it we run vmware again we click create we say next we click our we install the operating system later and click next. See now, Apple Mac OS X has appeared because we have unlocked it. See. Oh, again, I'll give you the link for you to download and, and run the unlock. Then we click next. Now, Let's say we already created virtual machines and we want to run them on VMware Workstation Pro 17. This is where to click. Again, for you to see this window, you have to click tabs and click go home. Then click open a virtual machine. We click anywhere you have saved the virtual machine you've created already. That's where you should go. I save mine under documents in virtual machines folder. So let's say I want to run this Mac OS 12. This is, is the dot VMX file I need to pick. So I click it. It will show here. See that. It says upgrade this virtual machine. So I click that. I click next. See here, it says workstation system point two point x. So I have to click workstation seventeen point x and click next. No. No, we don't want a clone. We just say alter this, and we click next. We click finish. See, remember to do that. So we click here again. We make sure everything is all right. Network everything. So we click 
OK. And we click power on this virtual machine. We can go full. I got it this time. <laughs> See that. Let's try the sound. Mark is really very beautiful. <laughs> See, the internet is not working yet. If it shows this internet problem, one thing to do is hover over the top part of the window and the VMware menu we show and click VM and click settings click network and click not and click ok now let's try now While that is going on, let's open Safari to see.
So let's see. See the internet works. Then why is let me see the internet works for see that. Oh good, is the podcast is working now. So let's see this. Support for NPR in this podcast comes from Stanford Medicine Children's Health. Stanford Medicine Children's Health. But still yeah. There was something about these photographs of the men on the roof. You something can see that the sound really is working. Their faces. About the internet the is working. Rural Alabama holding a bed. This will show, he says, VMware dash tools. You should say, don't deny it. Open system preferences. Click the lock and enter the password of your mark. And check this. That's all you need to do. Let's see YouTube now. If you're a homeowner in Washington and you're still paying for electricity, then I've got some big news for you. See that. Just weeks ago, the federal government passed an extension to the, the internet. The sound is working. Homeowners. So follow the steps and you should successfully download and install VMware Workstation 17 Pro and you can run Mac, Linux, Windows, Virtual Machine on the VMware workstation on a Windows computer. Now let's log out of this and try a Linux. Virtual machine. This, te this window is just telling you what you can use with the 
VMware Workstation. So you should click Don't Show This Again. It says you can use JMT, JM Tech USB audio. You can use this webcam. You can use touch system. Now, let's click tabs again and click go home. And we open existing virtual machine. Click. We click documents or anywhere you have the existing virtual machine and let's bring ubuntu again is the dot vmx file you need to click on and it will show here and run it Please give feedback if you successfully downloaded and installed VMware Workstation 17 Pro on your Windows or Linux computer. And if you are able to successfully create or use existing virtual machines on the Workstation 17 Pro. It shouldn't take this long. Oh, he's watching now. <laughs> Sorry for that. Nice. So we click and enter the password. Nice. See that. Let's test the internet.
see that the internet works. My internet is slow. You can see that the sound works too for for Linux on VMware Workstation 17 Pro. The internet and sound works too. See that. Let's try a podcast. Pushkin. St. James Palace in London, down the street from Buckingham Palace. It's the official C dot. This new Ubuntu is very beautiful too. <laughs> That's that for this video. Again, we looked at how to download and install VMware Workstation 17 Pro, which is the latest version of VMware Workstation Pro. Um, after we downloaded and installed the VMware Workstation 17 Pro, we unlocked it for Mac OS operating system to show so that we can run Mac OS on the VMware Workstation 17 Pro. Then we also tested Linux on it, Ubuntu. One other thing to do let me One other thing to do is to for sound, make sure you click enable echo cancellation, click it and click OK. Do that for these two.
sound make sure this is if you have other editions of linux you can run them too let's run one more let's run red hat again is the dot vm x file you need to click we click to edit it for sound we make sure enable echo cancellation is checked then we click ok What else can we do? Yes, we can say enter full screen after we turn on the virtual machine and click OK. Let's do that for all the we click options we we'll click power and we click the first enter full screen and click ok these two we click options we click power we we'll click enter full screen after powering on and click ok so let's run this red hat linux We enter password.
all the distributions of Linux should work on this VMware Workstation 17 Pro. See that. See that the internet works too. My internet is slow. You can see that the sound works, the internet works. Let me let me just log off. Let's see the VMware Workstation player. See that? You can see the VMware Workstation 17 player. Once you download and install the VMware Workstation 17 Pro, you will also get the VMware Workstation 17 player.
and you can use it to create virtual machines. See the same. See that. And you can use it to run already existing virtual machine. Let's click this option. Again, we click the dot VMX extension. We open it. We say take ownership. Oh, it's like first of all, let's let's close all this. Let's try again. see that once this shows you click here or here either this or this you can hide this bar just click this and it will go away Please subscribe, give feedback, share the video. Any other tip, I will appreciate to learn from you too. See that. Again, we enter the password. I'm glad I remember the password now. <laughs> How do you remember an old password? Do you have any tricks to that? Share in the comment, please. See, so we use VMware Workstation Pro 17 Pro to run all the virtual machine and we are using the VMware Workstation 17 player to run the to run the virtual machine again both work try and it's better to download and install the VMware Workstation 17 Pro because it comes with the player does that the sound everything works the internet works
See that. It's just that my internet is slow. I will wait for your feedback and I thank you again for your trust and your time. See you in another such helpful and revealing video.